Brave New Words is for words spoken, sung, shot, signed or silenced. My name is Martin O'Neill. I co-founded Brave New Words about four years ago in 2015, one year on from Scotland's referendum. Initially, this was proposed as a kind of open mic, kind of spoken word platform to showcase a lot of the kind of southwest of Scotland. Since then, it's taken so many different routes, uh, but essentially it remains one of Dumfries' finest open mics. With the support of the stove, we've managed to keep on going for about four years now, almost to the month. Last month was our birthday. My name's Susie Briggs, and I am a children's author and a poet in the Scots language. I came back to Dumfries for a wee spell, and about that time, Brave New Words started, and it was Brave New Words that encouraged me back into writing. I just find it a lovely, nurturing space for new writers and old writers. People from every background comes to Brave New Words, and there's just so much acceptance. It's lovely. We had the kind of first wave of regulars and from that first wave, many of them have gone on to really take themselves seriously as writers or performers or musicians and really grow that within themselves. We've also seen just, it's, a, it's remarkable the confidence that some people have managed to get through it. One in particular is a friend of mine called Johnny, who when first standing up, he was reading short tales, short stories and literally trembling. Uh, and now he co-hosts it with me and he's gone on to you know, launch a stand-up career that's getting fairly successful. I'd been living in Glasgow for I mean, roughly about eight years since I started uni. Um, but then in 2017 I had a bit of a breakdown. I'd been like suffering from um, bipolar for quite a few years um, and then it kind of came to a head. I went through a really bad episode, went back to live with my mum. And it wasn't until like my mum suggested, um, Hero of Heroes that she is, that she was like, you know, Martin's been running like an open mic for the last year and a half or something like that. And that was the very first thing that I went to outside of the house. Like literally that was the first activity that I engaged in. And I was just stood at the back, just listening to people who were just as nervous as me, who were just as anxious as me, who were just as concerned about everybody else's opinion as I was. Yeah, and then um, it took me, I think like maybe like a couple of months later, I've like read out a story and gradually sort of like came in my shell a little bit. And now I'm at this point where I'm sort of helping Martin host and it's the best possible thing that could have happened for my mental health. And that's why it's such a nice thing to be a part of like actually hosting it and bringing people up on stage and helping them out as well. And just to build up their confidence a little bit. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing better than that as well. You know, that's just one example, but there's there's so many others where people, you know, you, you really see people start to take their voice in the world a bit more seriously and their confidence in the way that they stand and the way that they present themselves and the way that they're able to speak to an audience, which is not an easy thing to do. It's uh, particularly difficult. And you can see a lot of people growing, not only creatively, but as people as well. We've had younger people coming in, for example, Kate Kyle, who started coming when she thinks she was, must have been about 13 at the time, and has now gone on to release her first EP, supported through Dumfries Music Conference, various other things at the stove. So to see that growth in somebody just through the consistency of turning up and, and doing it, and she still comes. She's not left us for greater pastures. She's there here because it's a good night. <laughs> It can go from any manner of subjects whatsoever. Each month we do theme it, which is really just a kind of prompt for people if they don't necessarily have something they've written or they would kind of maybe need a bit of direction. Most of it, I keep it very personal. Mostly like I talk about mental health. I, I try and make my stuff sort of reflect my own sort of mentality and my own mindset. Sometimes they're not the easiest themes in which to tackle. So maybe re rebellion, which was last month, or bravery or love, lust or loss, uh, th these kind of things that kind of, re re they can take it really kind of emotionally or really run with that, or they can really start to challenge things. Originally, when I first came to Brave New Words, um, I used it to share my songwriting because I, I write songs as well. And it was nice to have a listening audience for my songs. Um, and then 
I became a children's author in Scots language with Nip Nibs. I thought, well, I could try my hand at writing mere poetry. So I started writing mere poetry and sharing it here. One of my poems, um, Diva, is a poem about empowerment of the self and the poem was turned into a little film by Martin. And for him to put moving images to one, something I'd written that was just for myself, but then it's now out in public domain, it's great. And the feedback I've got from that, women have said to me, you know, it's really helping me. I come back to this whenever I'm feeling weakened by stuff going on in their lives. Diva, she screamed at me, it's din then dragged my heaving hurt away for the wreckage, her gentle thoughts on every chain. There is a community here, definitely. We've seen people arrive, for example, students that were kind of a bit wary about the town, not really knowing, you know, what's going on and things. They just kind of, out of curiosity, come along and you've seen them come back with more people. They've started to get the confidence to perform. You see kind of people, you know, finding new friends. We never tapped into necessarily a community, we just tapped into an interest or a potential interest for people to kind of come to. I have found the community of Brave New Words to be incredibly supportive, very caring. Connecting with people that I wouldn't normally connect with is just is a great thing. It's really opened my eyes in lots of different ways and encouraged me to make my voice a bit louder on various issues. I've also reconnected with friends and made new friends thanks to it as well. Like, there's not a single negative thing that has come out of Brave New Words. Everything about it, the sense of community that you get from it as well, is just, it's absolutely incredible. That's what like a good open mic should be as well. I think it just highlights perfectly how much is actually going on and can go on in a small town. Spoken word poetry, any creative medium, is a great way to kind of communicate with others in your own way. And this was seen as a way of doing that on an open stage in the middle of the town to challenge those things and to showcase what Dumfries and this entire region is really capable of. It's a small town. People see it as a failing town a lot of the time. They see a failing high street, but there's so much that people can do just with these tiny, tiny little actions. Brave New Words is not a tiny action, but they're a massive action. Brave New Words came along at a time in my life where I needed something to go to to give me that courage to carry on with the dreams and visions that I wanted to fulfill. Uh, so much so that um, this year I was confident enough to stand in front of my peers at the Scots Language Awards and recite my Scots language poetry and, and do it pretty well. <laughs> so I got really positive feedback on that. It is, like, I think, a perfect example of the butterfly effect. It's that tiny thing, like I cannot fathom if I had not come here and if this has not been going on, then I don't know where I'd be right now, just two years later, like I can't. I genuinely can't, like I can't think. Martin doesn't realize like how many people he has helped, me being one of them. And I hope that he eventually like comes to realize that because it's an incredible achievement. It really is. I feel real gratitude and loyalty to Brave New Words. I encourage as many people as possible that are creative to come and try it out. Even if you're not brave enough, just sit in the audience and watch the others. And then one day you might go, I'm going to share. I'm going to share something about myself because we all have our stories, we all have our poetry, we all have something within us. Yeah. 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 Yeah.